uh yo what's up guys um today i'm gonna be going through i have made i finished the q command i have finished the panel so basically the panel is where you enter your information but then that's where you can enter the queue and i've also finished the pull command so anyways um for the start queue uh, i've pretty much all i've done is just make it so you can add testers so currently right now you can add only one tester just because i still have to make another command for that so i'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like right now um let's just start it in uh EU queue so if i put slash start queue i want to be a tester i can join i can leave for some reason i actually do not know how to get rid of this undefined stuff so um if you don't mind it just leave it but like, you can figure out a way to get rid of it i mean i could probably figure it out a way but i don't really care too much because i mean it's it's just it's just words on it it doesn't really matter so anyways i've already showed you how the queue works and what are the settings that you can what you should config configure in my last video so now we're gonna go to the um we're gonna go to our enter queue panel so our enter queue panel is basically this um if i can find it it's this so um let's go ahead and just uh let me go ahead and get rid of everything so this will work by if so these queues you will have to have a verified account so by the way you get the verified account is that you know verify your account details it's going to send a form it's going to set all the variables for your account details and it's going to save it to your user the person who entered the information is going to save it to that user so what you're going to do from there is that you're going to add the role verified account and if you don't have the verified account role um it will just say verify your account details first so uh, now that you do if you do have a verified account role it's going to add a role the naq it's going to tell you you have been added to naq you here or asq whatever one you join so let me go ahead and just put an example so let's say i want to join euq okay well um i don't know why it wasn't working for euq let me see something wrong with that back to the command actually i think it's just the uh, I think it was just taking a little bit long for that. Yeah, uh, that was just a glitch. Uh, there's nothing really wrong with it. But anyways, as you can see, I have been added to NAQ. But, but, let me get rid of all this. Now, if I try to join the NAQ, I'm just gonna say verify your account details first. So now I'm gonna verify my account details. Uh, it's Ms. Low, NA, those are three. Org. Okay, I have entered. I'm gonna go ahead and you know enter the NAQ, which is I did. It just didn't send the message for some reason. Sometimes it can be like that. Yeah, like it's gonna be slow like that sometimes. So yeah, I've entered the NAQ, and just don't worry about all this. I've been I was just testing something out because my bot was bugging. So anyways, uh, as we can see in this get in the AS, I mean the EUQ, I join. I'm gonna pull. See, now this is where we're gonna get into the pull. So if I do slash pull, it's gonna ask me who I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull myself. Oh, well, wrong guy. Pull myself. It's gonna create a channel, go to test and ticket, and then all my stuff is gonna be saved here. So like what what I just entered is gonna be put into the embedded message. So that's pretty much what the pool does. It just pulls somebody, creates a channel, and gets their information. Um, so before I release this video, I will be adding the um, you the little Minecraft IGN. So, the, oh not Minecraft IGN, the little Minecraft um, logo or whatever the fuck you want to call it. But now let's say I want to close it. It's gonna close. My ticket will be closed in five seconds, and it's gonna say who it was closed by. And then it was closed um you see right now it still says i'm in the queue the thing is this queue does not automatically refresh yet um this version of the queue will not automatically refresh but if i just i am not in the queue so like if i join it will say you're already in the queue um it shouldn't say that they yeah, actually should not say that but anyways yeah if i just leave 
yeah it'll work so again it's just the bot being slow because for some reason with this Q stuff um the bot if you're on the free plan it does tend to be slow so anyways that's pretty much how pull works if you want me to get into the deeper stuff let me go ahead and go into the pull command so what this is is that you're for this is just going to create the channel it's going to send the messages and stuff this is just going to be the user you have to pull and then this close stuff is pretty much just going to set the variables back and make sure the person did leave the what's it called the person did leave the fuck the person did leave the queue or was removed from the queue so anyways um the only thing you will probably have to actually modify is the category id and your permissions and or here is gonna have to i don't think you have to do anything for that i don't think you have to do anything for that either so i mean yeah that's pretty much it um like i said earlier if you're using a free plan the bot will sometimes be unstable and it will not work i have gotten a lot of messages about you know or dms about their bot not working or it's being slow that's pretty, that's how bot post is if you have the money to buy a premium plan if you're really wanting your tier list to be professional and have all this stuff i'd recommend buying a uh what's it called a premium plan valentine's is up soon i'm pretty sure they'll do a uh what's it called a coupon or a you know a sell just uh you know maybe 25 percent off that'll be like seven dollars for a month and that will pretty much guarantee your bot never lagging or having to be able to open the queue all the time because if you haven't noticed with your bot it does run out of storage if you're on a free plan so you gotta be careful with that it resets every month if you um what's it called if you max out your storage um you you'll have to make a new bot unless you can wait until the new month comes so that's pretty much it for this video uh i hope you enjoyed hope this was easy and simple i'm gonna leave the link to my discord in the um in the bio and in the comments i will post for the people who are already in my discord i will be posting these these command codes in the updates channel so yeah so if you enjoyed this video i hope you like the video and subscribe i've hit 100 subscribers uh, i did a special on that i released the q command for free then now i'm about to release an updated queue a pull command and a tester panel or i mean a get tester panel so i mean um just hope y'all were surprised by this